up. They're gonna come up. They're gonna come up. They're gonna come up. Look at that bait popping. All happies. That's why they like those paddle tails. It's just a perfect profile. Right there. See them going, and going. We're gonna see. Look, them all fitting. We're gonna get them. We're gonna get them. Nice shot. Willie just oh. led those fish perfectly. He's just gonna retrieve it. Yeah, nice, nice fish. Yeah. Willie's hooked up. I'm not throw the bow. Willie, you did that perfectly. We came up on those fish. You didn't plunk the lure right in the fish. You cast just ahead of the school and you led the school to your lure. One vectored off and just drilled it. That is textbook how to sight cast a school of tuna on Cape Cod. That's just awesome. So today we're sight casting bluefin tuna up to about 125 pounds with the Hoagie Pro Tail paddles. Now there's a couple different sizes that we'll be using today on the lighter gear. We're going to be using the two ounce and maybe the three ounce and then on the heavier Therese spinning rods we'll go up to four ounces if we need the casting range. Now to fish these paddles for topwater bluefin tuna it's really pretty simple. That paddle tail is going to do most of the work for you. It's a straight retrieve. The important thing with this paddle tail is even though we're casting with up to four ounces of lead inside these baits, is that paddle tail is like a break and lifts the bait. So even though this is a th there's three ounces of lead inside this head, I'm just a couple feet under the surface. So this is going to enable me to cast to top water, slow moving, cruising bluefin tuna. And uh, you know, one way to go is a steady retrieve. But if I'm vectoring in on a school and I'm leading them, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast out. Just say I'm in the area of some tuna. I'm going to speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, pause. I'm going to speed it up, pause. Real, 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 pause. Real, 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 pause. And again, with this paddle tail, you're just subsurface and you're in the strike zone. But with all this extra weight, you have the casting distance you need. And then when it hits the water, you can let it sink to get under the birds, and there you have it.